So what is the Oracle master plan? So smart contracts are super duper cool. Basically, they're these little programs that run on a blockchain. You can build stable coins and build DEXs and so forth. Unfortunately, smart contracts are basically blind. They can't see the outside world. You need some mechanism that's going to allow you to inject information from the outside world into a smart contract. So what we've been doing is we've been slowly but surely building partnerships. The plan in 2021 is to construct this Oracle access layer, allow a rich Oracle query experience, uh, and it comes with batteries included for all the hard stuff. So you can focus on the stuff that makes you rich, your actual application, your logic, and the things that are gonna help you compete in the market. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, IOHK partners with Wolfram Research to power blockchain oracles on Cardano. DevNets are building bridges for developer communities. So these interoperability platforms will allow for developers such as those on Ethereum to start writing smart contracts, which can then be ported over onto Cardano. Amid the latest DeFi hacks, Nervos Networks and Cardano's IOHK have joined forces to improve smart contract security. So lots of interesting things to talk about here in this video today. All of that coming up right after our sponsor. Our sponsor for today's video is Zelda Stake Pool. Big thank you to Zelda Stake Pool. They are Cardano Stake Pool based in Japan. They've actually just minted their first block and they're gonna be bringing in some incredible rewards for their delegators. Secured to the network with a 100,000 ADA pledge and a low 2.5% ADA fee. So be sure to check out Zelda Stake Pool, ticker Z-E-L-D-A. Thank you so much to Zelda Stakepool for sponsoring today's video. So to get things started, IOHK partners with Wolfram to power Cardano. So as part of this relationship, Cardano data will be integrated into the Wolfram Alpha computational intelligence engine. This places Cardano alongside Ethereum and Bitcoin as blockchain data to be included into Wolfram Alpha. Now, along with this partnership, essentially Wolfram Alpha is going to provide Oracle services for Cardano. Very interesting development as we see smart contracts being created. We're gonna be moving full steam ahead towards Gogan very soon. Oracles are going to allow for data from the real world, such as price data feeds, you know, you have sports scores, currency exchange rates, all of that information to be integrated into the Cardano blockchain. Now, Wolfram and IOHK have historically had close ties. Stephen Wolfram actually presented at the Cardano 2020 Virtual Summit, as well as the IOHK Miami Summit in 2019. Their company has consistently proven themselves to be leaders in pushing open source intelligence across a variety of fields, including computation, mathematics, and now blockchain technology. Very exciting developments. As part of this ongoing rollout, IOHK is going to be working very closely with them, and their educational teams are going to collaborate to provide Cardano-specific course materials. What this is intended to do is help to draw in developers and users into the Cardano ecosystem by promoting the understanding of the platform. So education being very key and an integral piece into the adoption for developers and users for this blockchain technology. Integrating with Wolfram Alpha also boasts industry-leading natural language processing capabilities. This makes Cardano's information available to virtual assistants like Alexa and Siri. Once integrated, users will be able to query the system to find information or solve computational problems as easily as asking their virtual assistant. And they're anticipating the initial phases of this integration by Q2 or Q3 of next year. Completely mind-blowing to think about that the data structure from Wolfram Research is actually what is being used with virtual assistants like Alexa and Siri. So talk about mainstream adoption. I think this is a very exciting development. 
There was more information spoken about this partnership at the December monthly Cardano product update. I'm currently working on an overview of that product update, so if you weren't able to catch the entire segment, not to worry, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified as soon as I post that update video. Talking about bringing developers onto Cardano. So now we're seeing the launch of DevNets, which is going to allow for developers who already have some existing programming experience with blockchain to write smart contracts, which can then be moved over onto Cardano. So the first of these DevNets is going to be the KEVM. So this stands for the K Ethereum Virtual Machine. Now K is a semantics framework, which is a system for specifying languages and virtual machines. K applies formal reasoning and mathematical rigor for the highest levels of assurance. It enables developers to define or implement the formal semantics of a programming language in an intuitive and modular way. The KEVM DevNet, which is aimed at the Solidity and Ethereum community, will enable full backwards compatibility with Ethereum. So this is going to allow for real-world testing for those who are interested in writing applications on Cardano now you can actually begin to do so if you are a Solidity or an Ethereum developer. You can write up the application in the programming language which you're familiar with. And then when it comes time to implement this smart contract, you can use a sidechain to be able to execute it on Cardano. So very interesting to see this. Now we can actually start to write and deploy these smart contracts on the DevNet to allow for some close to real world testing. Now, Glow is another one. So Glow is another DevNet that is in the works. Hopefully we see the deployment of that sometime in January of 2021. Glow is a high level language and it follows the correct by construction doctrine to avoid common pitfalls and potentially costly bugs. Glow has been designed with interoperability in mind and there will be compilers targeting many diverse platforms and blockchains making code reuse so much simpler and more practical. So you're gonna have templates with this programming language, which you can use to integrate into your own smart contracts, making the process of writing these applications that much easier. Very, very interesting to see that. And also we can see some developments with Yella. So IOHK has partnered with Runtime Verification. Yella is a human readable blockchain low-level language meant to serve as the foundation for third generation blockchains. Yellow was designed using state-of-the-art formal methods to address security and correctness concerns in Ethereum, while simultaneously enabling the verification of mathematical correctness on smart contract code that KEVM brings to Ethereum. So there's lots of incredible things happening here with KEVM, Glow, and the Yella DevNets. They're going to bring use and utility to Cardano and build solid lasting partnerships that continue to contribute to the growth of the developer ecosystem. So lots of exciting things happening with these developments. With these DevNets, Cardano will have permanent backwards compatibility with the Ethereum network, keeping pace with any developments on the Ethereum chain. Keeping in mind also that all of these developments are happening alongside the work being done with Plutus and Marlow, which are the Haskell-based programming languages for Cardano developers. And one of the projects that's taken the lead to be one of the first to start to migrate over to Cardano is gonna be none other than SingularityNet. So SingularityNet is a decentralized AI project led by Dr. Ben Gortzel. So they announced this shift over from Ethereum and exploring the potential synergies between SingularityNet and Cardano. They're interested in focusing on creating a more scalable, flexible, and usable successor to the current AGI R&D platform. So these are some very interesting developments. I know that as far as developers right now who are interested in getting started, being able to take advantage of these DevNets, if you are a developer for Ethereum, you can now actually start to write up a smart contract using the KEVM testnet, and then go ahead and port that over to Cardano when we see the mainnet. The projects that are built on Ethereum are really going to see the potential of migrating over onto Cardano. And last up, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, taking a look at some of the things we're seeing with DeFi. So now Nervos Network and IOHK have teamed up in a partnership and co-author some research papers on how to improve the UTXO model. This is a very interesting development as it comes to learning more about the underlying infrastructure behind blockchain technology. 
So they will form an alliance with other UTXO-based blockchains to help collaboration across research, development, and education in the industry. Something that I find very notable about what they're doing is that they're addressing the current issues that we're seeing with Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is actually going to use an account-based accounting model. The account-based accounting method is more vulnerable to attacks, particularly for decentralized finance, as it simply keeps track of the overall balance of a user's account, but it doesn't monitor the individual transactions within it. As opposed to something like UTXO, this consensus protocol is actually adopted first by Bitcoin, and we're seeing the evolution of that with the extended UTXO model on Cardano. This accounting model keeps track of a user's unspent transactions across all of their accounts and monitors every single transaction. This is a more secure alternative to the account-based accounting model. So according to Kevin Wang, the co-founder of Nervos, UTXOs are superior to account models in many ways and provide improved security, privacy, and scalability, all of which are critical for DeFi. Very interesting to read about the developments with this partnership between Nervos Network and IOHK. Of course, we are certainly within the early days, but seeing the partnerships being formed left and right, it's very promising on the future of this space. So guys, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Lots of technical information in this video update. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you found some value from this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the relevant Cardano news. All right, everyone. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.